Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> person is with the music that they listen to if you know that song that I was singing just now you probably as old as I am yeah. life is lifey <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to another episode today is gonna be an epic story time because boy do I have a story for you Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Florence Yanare and I share weekly weekly lifestyle. What what the what what what, what the fuck is going on with me today? <laughs> and I'm having water and I can't finish a damn sentence and I'm having water. You guys, I'm just trying to have water, stay hydrated and mind my own damn business and shit. Hold on, we're gonna try this one more time. Alrighty, let's try this again. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Florencia Nare. I share weekly lifestyle videos surrounding the chaos <laughs> in my life. I'm... <sighs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Florencia Nare and I share weekly lifestyle content surrounding my very chaotic and busy lifestyle i am a small business owner i am a student and my most important job you guys i am a mom and a wife <laughs> to two wonderful boys who i absolutely adore and if you guys if that's your vibe guys if you're looking for mom content <laughs> this is the place so you guys please I would really appreciate it if you could just subscribe and like this video, you know, so that YouTube can keep on, you know, sharing my content. That'll be amazing. And you guys, to all my wonderful 400 subscribers, you guys, I just reached 400 subscribers this week and I'm very appreciative of all of you guys who decided to stick with me. You guys are amazing. You are loved. Thank you guys so much. But I would also really appreciate you guys if you could just drop a comment let me know how much you've been liking the context the content so far I want to hear what you guys thought where I can improve and what you guys want to see basically and then if I can I would love to make uh, content tailor-made for you guys so yeah welcome <laughs> so in today's episode you guys I wanted to tell you a story well for starters um uh, it's nathan and i's anniversary this weekend you guys we've been married how many years have we been married six wonderful years you guys we've been married six years and together 12 years that's a long time <laughs> that is a long time okay where do i even begin Okay, so because it's our anniversary, you guys, oh my God. you guys, it has been mad, mad hot. It's been a heat wave all across Southern Africa, I believe. It's been so freaking hot. It's been a heat wave. You, you have no idea. It's been so hot. I don't remember it ever being this hot, ever. Yeah, and, and I, I was watching the news the other day and they were saying that it hasn't been um, this hot since the 1800s. But then again, who who is measuring the weather in the 1800s, you guys? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But yeah, it's been mad hot, hence the ice water. And you guys, today we are having water because today is a weekday. We don't want to be tipsy on a weekday when I have to wake up early in the morning tomorrow. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. <laughs> school is 
is over you guys so Lyo is at home I don't have to wake up at 6 anymore well technically they are not closed yet but they are done writing exams and they are in like in almost in their last week or two weeks of school not even two weeks it's gonna be it's about a week and some days so they are done writing exams uh -huh. no more waking up at 5 30 you guys they are done with exams and they are doing the final stretch you know just you know yeah so he he doesn't have to go anymore because he's already submitted all his textbooks and there's just going to be events here and there at the school so he will be attending those here and there not every day until he's done i'm so happy about that you guys oh i am so happy about that you have no idea so no more waking up at 5 30 you guys okay i'ma do me <laughs> i'ma do me <laughs> okay so back to the video as i was telling you guys uh this weekend is actually nathan and i's six year anniversary wait is it six years or seven years hold on no we got married in 2017 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 yeah six years it's gonna be six years of marriage this week. so we've been together 12 years but we've been married now six years so i thought uh in light of our you know uh, anniversary i thought maybe we, i could do a story time on how he proposed you guys <laughs> okay let's get into it so i'm gonna take you guys way back to 2017. so at this point nathan and i have been together for six years already we were uh, you know what i'm not gonna front it is what it is we were we had been together six years already we were living together pretty much acquainted with both sides of the family i had met his mom and dad my mom and dad had met him we we were pretty much you guys although we were not married <laughs> we were already living <laughs> like um we were married so now um and you know you know you know where the pressure comes from let me tell you where the pressure comes from a family <laughs> family okay but that hold on at the beginning so we together at this point we have been together six years and everything is going great um there has been talk about marriage we've talked about it we've discussed it and both of us are in a space where we are in agreement that we we don't want to you know make uh, you know a commitment yet although we were pretty happy together and you know the thing is i was mad terrified about marriage and i'm gonna tell you why because when i when i was looking at the married people around me i didn't have a lot of um positive uh married role models if that makes sense i could literally count on one hand how many couples i knew in my life that were married and were very happy or happy or something that maybe i aspired to be so to me marriage was terrifying because i thought you know it was me giving up my freedom and at this point there was a lot of things that i wanted to do with myself in my life and i thought by you know getting married i have to give up you know this certain part of me or this side of me or these other things that i want to achieve and that i want to do um i hadn't um at this point i had started studying and had taken a break because you know it got really expensive and i couldn't juggle it both you know um it, we had a son now lyle was here we were i was a mom and you know there was a lot going on and i still wanted to pursue my my degree and to me there was still so much that i wanted to experience and so much that i wanted to do that i thought maybe by you know becoming somebody's wife i had to give up all of this and be you know somebody's wife 
Does that make sense? Yeah. So that was the fear in me when it came when it came to marriage. So we had both at this point we had both discussed marriage. We we were in agreement that yes, one day we would like to tie the knot and that was going to be, you know, the future for us. We were in agreement towards that, but we also had decided that okay, maybe then was not the time for us to you know to do that because you know we both wanted to do there was still a both <laughs> why do i a little tongue twisters you guys <laughs> there was still uh, a lot that we both wanted to experience with life and you know just getting married we wanted to but just not the so at this point i think we had discussed the the idea of marriage um maybe two years three years prior to our engagement we had discussed it and he knew what my goals are i knew what his goals are and we were both um working towards our goals so yeah at this point so now we are in um, august 2017 2017 you guys and it's my birthday is coming up <laughs> so at that point you know our, your girl was ready to turn up because <laughs> august is my birthday month and you know i was turning how god damn it time was moving we got engaged in my 20s hold on let me do the math real quick this was 2017, six years ago. How old was I? I am... Hmm. 29, 28, 29. I was turning, I think this was my 28th or 29th birthday, you guys. So, um, I didn't have much planned for the birthday because he told me that he had plans um, for us. So, that was so i didn't make plans because he had told me that he had plans for us okay so now at this point oh that month it turned out his mom was coming to visit us so she spent the the august holidays with us so it's august his mom is here you know we are both having a nice time you know when his mom is around we like to you know to spoil the parents a little bit so there's a lot of um, eating out happening and you know it's a vibe because the parents are here we're having fun or whatever so then the morning of my birthday um, Nathan decides I'm not sure if he decided that on that morning or this was a, a decision that had been made uh, prior this is a question that i'm gonna to have to ask him did his mother know what was going on i don't know hmm interesting we're gonna to have to ask him that so at this point you guys it's it's saturday morning um it's my birthday so then nathan had decided okay he's gonna take his mom to his sister's place which is in whitbank and okay fine we get up early in the morning we get dressed uh, we go out for breakfast and then after breakfast we decide to do the long drive you guys to Ibeg. <laughs> so let me tell you <laughs> the this part is gonna be relevant to you guys in a little bit so what had happened was we had uh, just recently bought our first car together okay so at first we had had a little bit of a fight <laughs> okay the agreement okay hold on the agreement was like okay we we have money we both have money right okay life was starting to get a little chaotic okay so he had his savings i had my savings and then we needed a car so then we were like you know what we need a car because life is getting chaotic and this thing of using public transportation is not working for us so let's come together <laughs> get a car and then we'll come together again and then we'll get another car and then you know both of us could, could have a car great plan so we decide at this point i don't have a driver's license 
so we discuss this and then he's like okay we're gonna first get you a car which is getting nathan a car so um so we come together you guys will start shopping for a car and we find <laughs> this really nice volvo that i absolutely love you guys i loved the volvo and at some point it was getting so serious that we were so interested in this volvo and then some random guy just comes into our lives with this mercedes and you guys nathan's dream car was a mercedes and i am looking at this car and i do not like it <laughs> So I'm trying to discourage him from getting the Mercedes because I really like, uh, but let me say that it's not that I didn't like the Mercedes. I just happened to like the Volvo more. So now I'm trying to discourage this guy from buying, uh, from buying the, you know, the Volvo. I mean, from buying the, the Mercedes because I want the Volvo. But then he's like, no, I mean, yes, the Volvo is nice, but this is the car that I want. So I want to get this one. So at this point, I feel like I don't have much say because that's the car that he wants. And this is, I'm not going to be driving the car. It's some, you know, a couple of months from then I was going to get my car. And so long story short, we were had a little bit of a disagreement regarding the car but he ended up getting what he wanted because at the end of the day it was his car so he got that car <laughs> so this car was pre-loved and it had a few uh, minor issues <laughs> that needed you know some love if you know what i mean <laughs> okay you're gonna understand why i'm laughing in a little bit stay with me stick with me <laughs> so back to my birthday all right you guys so here's the thing i am so my mother-in-law is around and i am in my makoti vibe if you know what i mean i have you know i'm gonna insert a picture here or here wherever the case may be i'm gonna insert a picture somewhere here so you guys can see the the outfit of the day <laughs> because I was in my Makoti vibe. <laughs> I was wearing this um, overall dress and it was cold. That's another thing, it was cold. So I had the overall dress and boots on and I had this wig that you, years later, you guys, I am looking back and thinking, what the hell, <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> So I had, you know, this, this, Nathan likes me with, with the bangs. If you've known me long enough, then you know that Nathan is a, <coughs> a big fan of the bangs. So I had, um, maybe a week or two, no, it can't be a week, maybe two weeks prior, I had just done my hair and I had the bangs on and this wig was starting to, you know, <coughs> age a little bit and i am in makoti vibes you guys i am dressed the way a proper makoti should be i'm wearing this overall dress <laughs> with boots and whatever so the day starts off we go to breakfast breakfast is done and then uh we begin the long journey to to Whitbank. we drive over there and we we kind of because now when we when we got there we we couldn't be like wait yeah we just came to drop mommy we're leaving so we had to spend <laughs> some time there so we ended up um you know being there a little longer than we had anticipated or what he had anticipated so now uh it's time to to drive back and now we drive back and now it's getting late <laughs> it's getting late it's getting dark and um i can see that he is in a hurry we are late for something i don't know what we're late for and you know he's driving uh, pretty fast he is in a hurry he's in a good mood fine we are talking and then you guys out of nowhere we're in the middle of nowhere the car just starts to slow down on its own <laughs> Oh, 
We are in the middle of nowhere. We don't see no houses. All we see is just cars just passing us by. And now I'm wondering what the problem is. So um, <clears throat> he, you know, when the car starts slowing down, he just pulls over to the side. We both get out the car. We are wondering, you know what, what's going on with the car? We're looking at everything. He's opening up the bonnet and whatever. And we are wondering, what's the problem? We check the fuel and the fuel gauge says we still have <laughs> we still have fuel in there, so we're fine. So he's looking at the car and he's thinking or whatever. So he had noticed I don't I can't remember, you know the timeline is getting a little foggy. So now we he we are, we are, he's trying to call people trying to figure out who can help us because now we're stuck in the on the side of the road and it's dark and he's trying to call people to figure out you know to get somebody to help us and then he's like you he had um figured out that there was something off with the fuel gauge and we had fueled up um on our way there and you know we we never thought it was like a fuel issue because now we were checking the gauge and the gauge seemed to be working again because we were okay long story short guys turns out there was something wrong with the fuel gauge and it needs it needed to be fixed so at this point he's like you know what instead of me just waiting here for somebody to come and help us while we wait let me try something let me go um find a, you know a garage or fuel station whatever you want to call it you guys and then i'm gonna get some fuel and probably this is not a big deal it's just a fuel situation <laughs> and your girl is sitting in the passenger seat <laughs> i am pissed off at this point i am pissed off because number one it's my birthday we are stuck on the side of the road in a car that i had discouraged him from buying and I feel like we it, it, right now it looks because we are far from I think we've probably gone like halfway we are we are far from the destination where we're going and we are further from where we came from and now he's calling up his sister's husband if he can help us yeah and I am pissed the fuck off I am now I am sitting in the passenger seat and I am livid. I am angry and at the same time dude is freaking out so I don't want to show him that I'm pissed off but if you know me well enough you know that I don't have a poker face. I cannot pretend for shit. <laughs> I cannot pretend. I am that one person if I don't like you you are gonna know that I don't like you. And if I like you, I am, you are gonna feel that you are liked and you are loved. I, I'm just that kind of person. I wear my emotions on my sleeve, you guys. So at this point, not only am I upset, clearly, I am scared that, okay, we might, we might end up actually spending the night here, which, now come to think of it now that knowing then what i know knowing what i know now is that um we there was no way that we were gonna spend the night there because um his um uh, sister's husband was already making plans to to come and help us you know and we were actually um not that far off we were probably maybe an hour from where he was so or less so we were gonna get help but just maybe the time frame is what was gonna suck but we were definitely gonna get help so now he's like okay don't worry he's trying to make it seem like he's hey he has everything under control he's like yeah don't worry i know it's your birthday we're still gonna have a good time i made us some re reservations we're gonna have some fun 
<laughs> and he's trying, you know, to to, to you know live it up the mood and i am sitting there and i am not having it i am sitting there like oh i told you not to buy this damn car i told you not to buy this damn car and i am not saying it by the way but it's written all over my face so now he is on the phone um trying because again we have no idea where we are he's on the phone uh, with the GPS trying to figure out where the nearest fuel station is and then he's like okay and worst part is where we were we tried uber there is no uber to where we are Ugh. so now he has to go to the fuel station so he starts he goes a little bit further down where they seemed to be like an intersection so he walks to the intersection um trying to get transport to where um the, the the fuel station seemed to be so now he leaves me there in the car i lock the doors you guys it's dark i just lock the doors and i keep telling myself that it's okay we're on the side of the road surely nothing will happen to me we are we may be in the middle of nowhere but there's a lot of traffic going you know up and down up and down i'm gonna be fine so now i am pissed off at this point so now i don't want anybody to see that there's somebody in the car so i put my my seat down and then i'm laying there at some point i was actually falling asleep but mind you this entire time we are calling each other back and forth and he's telling me he's letting me know what's going on and then he says to me no no i got transport you know these guys are taking me to you know a fuel station what 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 so they pick him up they take him to the fuel station he gets fuel and now it's time for him to come back dude has no idea because re remember this was our first time going to this place we have no idea where we are we're in the middle of nowhere and dude doesn't remember where he left to He has no clue where he left me. So now he finds other people, these people that are trying to get him back to me. And now he's calling me. He's like, turn on the car slide so I can see where you are. So I'm here. I switched on the car, you know, the, 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 the car. I'm, you know, put the hazard, the hazard lights on and everything. And you guys, I now at this time I'm getting I'm this time I'm getting even more pissed off because I'm thinking okay everything is going left at this point everything you can think of Murphy's law anything that could go wrong was going wrong on that day you guys I am sitting there oh but it's, it's getting dark in here I probably should turn on the light <laughs> it's getting dark <sighs> Hold on, you guys, I got y'all. Lights, camera, action. Okay, it was definitely starting to get dark. Okay, let's you know you know how much I like natural light I didn't realize that the day is going by so quick that um, natural light is going so anywho we now he's calling me he's like yeah turn on the, the, the lights of, of the car so I can pinpoint where you are when we see you then I know it's you and then I am turning on you know the car's lights and everything finally he gets there and i'm pissed off because now the brother-in-law is still trying to get to us but he is also trying to make a plan what was that hmm. anyway so now he puts he gets there finally eventually now it's like dark like pitch black and it's dark one part of me is still pissed off and the other other half of me is like finally you guys he's here i was starting to get really freaked out being alone you know in the middle of nowhere he's here finally he gets the fuel in 
and sure enough you guys it was a fuel situation he turns on the car didn't disappoint the car is back on you guys the journey is back on the road oh. and now i don't want to take any more chances and i'm like we are gonna drive straight to the fuel station from here just to make sure that we have enough at this point so the journey the drive we begin um the drive back now at this point there is no more laughing and talking and the giggles and the birthday you know butterflies everything is gone it's just me pissed off and i am <laughs> angry at this point you know face your money a foot imagine and the day someone at this point i got some money I'm trying to be happy, but I just can't be happy. To me, it feels like the day has been ruined. The day, to, for me, the day was ruined. But he is shame. He's he was trying to make this, you know, still a good day. So he's trying to talk me, you know, to talk to me and everything, playing music, and he's trying to chat up a storm. And my stubborn self is just sitting there in the passenger seat like okay um, finally we now we get to uh, Pretoria now and it's it is dark and it is late and as we are passing up um, restaurants and whatever you can see that this place you know it's quiet which shows you how late this and this is remember my birthday is on the 27th of august and this is a month and weekend and there was barely any people out so then you know how late it was i can't remember exactly what time it was but it was late so now he calls okay before we get there he calls he's like oh, um we are running i made a reservation earlier we are running late what well, what do you think we can still get a table then the guys are like yeah no problem come um your reservation is still you know it's, it's still fine you can still get a table come through whatever and then we get there at the restaurant it's literally us and maybe two other couples in the restaurant <laughs> that's how that's how late it was and then um, we get there, you know, the people, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they were thinking, oh, at least we have customers because it was so dead, you can see, it was so quiet for, for whatever reason it was. So then we, at this point, I am looking a hot mess. Again, I'll insert picture here <laughs> or here, wherever the case may be, so that you guys can see <laughs> what I'm talking about. At this point, because I've been sleeping in the car, my hair is everywhere. It's not slayed. And I had hoped that we were gonna come back and then I was gonna get a chance to go home, get birthday dressed, and then we can come back, you know, and have this dinner or whatever it was. So I am sitting, now we, we get to the restaurant, I am sitting there in my ma in full on Makoti regalia. <laughs> Guys, I am full on in Makoti regalia, dressed, you know, as. Uh, now I'm pissed off. Like, uh, but at this point, I haven't. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, now we're just gonna have to go with whatever the day is we're just gonna have to go now we're just going with the flow i'm like okay let's just go on get this dinner over and done with because he went through all this trouble now i don't want to disappoint him so let's just go and have this dinner and once you know get this dinner out of the way and then you know we can go home and it kind of felt like my birthday was ruined you know i take i'm one person who takes birthdays very seriously like i want to do something on my birthday i want to be happy on my birthday i want to have fun on my birthday 
if you can love on me on my birthday you know, if you want to love on me my birthday is the right day for you to just you know love on me <laughs> you know i am so big on birthdays and i am embarrassed to admit this but if my birthday or something goes wrong it i take it to to heart i try not to but i do because I don't know I want I just you know one day in the year I want to feel special not I'm not saying that I don't want to sp feel special any other day of the year but to me my birthday is a very special day and on that one day I want all the attention to be on me I want it to be about me and I was really looking forward to this particular birthday because it was you know my last um birthday in my 20s i was about to turn 30 and i wanted to have fun on this birthday if that makes sense and now we had just wasted half the birthday on the side of the road and now we get there it's you guys it was a a, a dinner uh, i wanted to party Okay, but you guys, he made a, a cute reservation at a cute restaurant. And now when we got there, I didn't feel like I was dressed to the part. So instead of us, you know, whining and dining where the couples are supposed to whine and dine, I decided, you know what, let's rather sit in the booth because I didn't feel like I was dressed appropriately. Again, insert picture here. <laughs> So now I am literally like, okay, I don't feel like I'm dressed appropriately for this place. So I just want to hide in a corner. So we go sit in a booth and I'm literally sitting, you know, just inside. Like, you know, I don't want anybody to see how I'm dressed. My hair is all over the place. Um, at this point, I just don't care anymore. I just want to have this dinner and I just want to go home and uh we order food we eat we are talking um he's trying still trying to liven up the mood and i'm trying to reciprocate you know i'm trying to smile some more and you know i don't want to make my man feel feel bad in any way because honestly what happened on that day wasn't exactly his fault it was just a series of um of events that just it was just like dominoes just one thing went bad and then another thing then another thing and it wasn't his fault it was partly my fault because now my mood was throwing him off and he felt the need to fix everything and in return it was almost kind of like just like making everything worse so my funk at this point was trying to was spoiling everything so now we're trying to, to to talk and everything the other couple leaves now it's just two of us in the restaurant and you know the waiters and everything we we eat we done hey oh i'm so sorry that's okay i didn't know that they were recording that's okay you sure yeah i'm sure i'm sorry okay later you should have been fun too. yeah okay later so at this point you guys oh now where were we we got distracted by a way so now we are dinner is done and then he says um do you want dessert and i'm like no i think i'm good i think it's time for us to go home you see what the devil was doing trying to make me pass up on this blessing and i'm like no it, it's all right he says no nah, let's 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 have dessert or whatever so now i'm like okay let's have dessert and then dessert comes mind you we are sitting there we are we are chatting and everything so i start to notice um the waiter comes but he doesn't come to the table he 
from a distance he signals uh, Nathan something and then Nathan just looks at him and he nods so I'm thinking it's something to do with the with the bill and at this point I am seeing unusual activity going on but again you guys I just want the day to be done okay I think maybe he's telling him that they are closing or something I don't know fine or whatever and then the dessert comes and we, we we're still talking or whatever and then this guy just brings the dessert and then he places it in front of me you guys it took me a moment <laughs> my dumb ass was still busy in my feelings it took me a moment to realize um, what the dessert said or what was on the plate or what was the because oddly enough usually nathan will ask me what do you want for dessert this time he didn't ask me what i wanted for dessert he just said oh do you want dessert yeah i want dessert and then dessert just came so we're still chatting and he places uh, the, the plate in front of me and we're still talking and now i begin to notice that uh you know the other waiters are you know my the attention is on me and i'm wondering what's going on and nathan is now getting up and i'm wondering where the hell are you going and then i finally look down <laughs> to the plate Ugh! stupid me <laughs> and there it was you guys he had uh, ice cream well i i love ice cream by the way he had ice cream in a, a, a glass what do you call that glass i forgot you know when i think of it here in a in a kind of like a uh guys the name is just throw i don't know my mind is just really like anyway so it, had, it was like this um two ice cream balls in in um in a glass with shaping a heart you know other bits there and then in whatever um i want to say strawberry sauce or some kind of sweet sauce it was like can't really remember it says will you marry me and the ring was there and i am like mind you i'm trying to be happy you see you see i'm trying to be happy and at this point all i'm thinking was you know what this is so sweet but i feel you know i feel like shit right now and all i could do in that moment was literally i was just crying because you know i was like literally in between i was very very happy at the same time i had been feeling really sad and i'm like right there in the middle and i'm crying and i'm i'm just sitting there almost mortified looking at the ring and finally he gets up and he gets on one knee and then he proposes you know and in the back in the background there was a lady gaga song uh, playing um again why is my mind getting foggy you guys my mind for some whatever reason right now it's just getting foggy so there's this lady gaga song a reggae song uh that was playing in the background it was a gaga song over some reggae i can't seem to remember anyway he finally gets on one knee and then he proposes and i i actually didn't verbally say yes i just kind of nodded and then he put the ring on my finger and you know everyone was just clapping and screaming and screaming congratulations now people were coming around us you know blah 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 blah, blah. and that was it and then finally you know we had the dessert and you know i was really trying you know to, to, to smile but god i was so here's the thing you know everything the day had gone on wrong but i think the thing that i was most upset about is that i had the moment right but I, I i would have wanted to go home you know and get you know my my thick cum dress on for my birthday you know and i wanted to look you know the you know i wanted you know the perfect you know engagement pictures and i didn't get that and that just 
made me even to this day when i think about it it just makes me mm, because i wanted the perfect i didn't have i didn't even have my nails done on that day my nails were for it again insert picture here my nails were not even done i looked a mess the engagement pictures and videos don't look as pretty as i had envisioned although the moment was very sweet and he went out of his way to try to make it special and and the, oh you guys and the most heartwarming part of it all is that he put so much thought into it that he want he waited for my birthday because he knew how special my birthday was for me and he wanted to give me that memory of proposing on my birthday which was very sweet that thought in its own just uh it, even now when i think about it it makes me warm and fuzzy on the inside that he you know he put so much thought into that and i it's just that i just wished that you know i would have been looking better <laughs> maybe my i think i wish you would have warned me like ah, maybe you want to wear something prettier or ah, maybe you want to comb your hair a little bit maybe you want to make yourself look pretty but in other in at the same time i also remember how much of a funk i was in that if he would have told me to fix my hair i would have been like nigga <laughs> you know i wasn't probably wasn't gonna take it in a nice way i was it was probably gonna offend me if he had told me eh, you might want to fix yourself up a little bit but i would have wanted to you know to go home and maybe um, of which we were not that far off from home actually we were a five minute drive from home but him knowing me probably he thought oh this girl we're gonna go home and she's gonna take another hour to get dressed and by the time we got here we're gonna lose our res we get here we're gonna lose our reservation and whatever so if this was him just really trying to salvage the moment and seize um, the moment as well because he had told himself that he was gonna propose to me on my birthday and nothing was gonna stop him from proposing to me on my birthday this is what he then later uh, told me of course over the years but you guys so yeah this man proposed to me on my birthday was the moment perfect absolutely not was it beautiful absolutely yes and um we were engaged in august 20 we were engaged rather on august 27th on my birthday and we actually decided you know what we were gonna have a wedding okay but then we wanted the wedding we were not at this point we were not sure i'm gonna say this we were not sure are we gonna have the wedding at home in zim or are we gonna have the wedding here because then my side of the family my mother's side of the family is in zim okay where I grew up and whatever and his family um, is in Zim obviously and my side my dad's side of the family is here and so we were not sure uh, whether we were gonna have the wedding here or we we're gonna travel home and have the wedding so we just decided you know what let's rather have an engagement party and then we can then once we have told our families that okay fine we're engaged and then we can then now decide what are we going to do what would be best for not just us we wanted to include our families in the wedding preparations as well and all of that and then um so yeah we were engaged for two months what we thought was going to be um an engagement party on the 2nd of december that year actually turned out to being our lobola day for those who don't know that it's the when um the boy pays the bride prize to the bride's family so initially my dad was like okay if you want to marry my daughter all you have to do is engage her and then marry her you know do it the, the english way 
that's how we do but then his side of the family him and his dad were very adamant that they wanted to show my family some sort of respect so they insisted that you know what we really would like to pay to pay so this thing was not planned at all so on the day we we thought we were having an engagement party so we got there you know which is another story in its own that i will have to tell on another day so on this day we have the engagement party or whatever and then towards the end of uh, the day his dad and his nathan and his dad and his side of the family insisted you know what they would like to pay some respects to my family and that they would like to pay the bike price my dad was like no that's not how we do but i appreciate the gesture but my mom being an african woman she was like oh baby i want what's you tell me <laughs> give me my coins yes please so they ended up paying uh the bride price which at at first i didn't think that i wanted that because uh, you know I don't want to say the modern girl in me, but that's partially it, you know, there's, because there was that thing in me that also said, you know, if he pays a bright price for me, then he owns me. But then it took a lot of um, conversating with other people and them telling me and showing me that, no, that's not what it is. It's just that, and I also understood when he explained it to me. That no they just really just wanted to show respect and that's what it was and I also wanted to respect their tradition so they ended up paying the bride price for me on that day and ever since then we have been traditionally married y'all so the the wedding the white wedding is still yet to come you guys life have been lifing the shit out of us ever since we got married <laughs> So we were gonna get married the following December. We were gonna have the white wedding. Why do I keep saying we were gonna get married? We we are married. We traditionally married, which is actually a recognized um, marriage in our country. So we we were in, we decided that we were gonna have the white wedding on the following year, that December. But then we, when we, you know, we were planning, things were not coming to place. I, I wanted the wedding that I wanted to have. And um, financially, you know, it wasn't looking like the wedding that I wanted to have. So we decided to hold off on the wedding a little bit until, you know, I can have the wedding that I want. So that is still in the works, you guys. So hopefully I'm not going to, I'm not going to put the pressure on myself and say this day, but yeah it's in the works you guys it's coming soon but i will say that to say this this is the question that people always ask me did you know that he was gonna propose <laughs> yes let me t i will say this i will say that to say this baby when a man decides he's gonna marry you he might not tell you but there will be signs <laughs> the signs were definitely there i could see because um like i said we had discussed prior about marriage but you know lately over i think in the few months leading to the engagement there had been more discussions over marriage and, and whatever even though it was brief you know there were there were discussions you know leading to that i I think I blissfully ignored the signs, but the signs were now that I look back and say, Oh, this is why we were having this conversation. Oh, this is why he asked me this question. Or this is why. Oh, and then there was this one day. Funny story, you guys. There was this one day. We were we had gone out to to watch a movie. So we had Lyle with us. Lyle was still very small at the time. We had gone to watch a movie and Coincidentally, there was um, uh, Swiss Swiss jewelers in the mall. So just before the the movie, we went and bought the tickets to watch the movie or whatever. But we were super early. So then he's like, "Yeah, you know what? Let's just take a stroll in the mall before we watch a movie." And then while we were just uh, walking or whatever, 
we just happened to pass through you know the swiss jewelers and he's like oh let's let's go in let's go see what's 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 happening here and then we were looking at earrings and and uh, watches or whatever the pretty jewelry that they had in there and we were just talking and he's like oh i wonder um do you have you ever you know got your um do you see this is lady lady at um sunny sunny park um swiss jewelers or whatever you knew what was up lady you knew because she you this you see this was not even nathan who suggested it it was the lady behind the counter who says to me oh have you ever checked um your ring size and then i was like no she's like yeah, you know we, we do that right we can check your ring size and then the lady starts you know with the with the bunch the ringy thingy and then she's putting the size and she's like oh okay i think this is this is your lady you knew what was up and i'm sure he had been there earlier and asked the lady to to do that and again i blissfully ignored the signs and this happened maybe two months or three months before he proposed so you know, he probably had the ring for a mad minute so we then, then there was that day so now that I look back at it, there were signs, man. Signs that were clear as day and I chose to ignore the signs every damn time. So that's the story, you guys. That's how he proposed. The wedding is still in the works. The white wedding rather is still in the works. We're still working on that, but yeah. I just want to be in a play. I want the wedding to be perfect and um i'm gonna have my babies there and i i have it all planned out and i want nothing to go wrong you guys because the engagement there was something wrong with the engagement and there was something wrong with the engagement party a story that i will tell on another day and now the wedding has to be effing perfect you guys i cannot wait you guys but yeah you guys, if you have stuck with me thus far, and I'm sure it's been, I think I've been yapping for an hour now. If you have stuck thus far you guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys to those of you who have subscribed thank you guys my loves thank you for appreciating me or sticking with me rather and thank you for subscribing and thank you for loving on me you guys it just shows you know you know that little gesture you know when you just subscribe or you just like one of my videos it's just showing love i appreciate the love you guys thank you guys so much but if you've reached here thus far you guys and you haven't subscribed please make please don't leave without pressing the subscribe button you know liking and watching a couple of my videos this is your girls trying to get money i'm guys i'm trying to get that youtube money <laughs> you know it's it costs money to make content you guys help a sister out so i can make better content for you guys thank you guys so much for sticking with me you see if you've made it thus far thank you i appreciate you because an hour guys an hour is a long time drop a comment if you've liked this video let me know what your thoughts are you guys and let me know what you want to watch and what you want to hear questions everything whatever you whatever you're thinking right now if you think this was shit, drop it in the comment i want to know so that it gives me an opportunity to improve an opportunity to do better and that's what i want to do you guys and thank you so much thank you for watching liking subscribing the whole shebang you guys i'll see you guys in the next video i love you all bye remember stay hydrated and mind your own business i'm gonna drink more than mind my business drink more